Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next concept of error controller that is a cyclic redundancy check guys. Okay, so this is also a error detection method guys. Okay, so let us take some example so that you can understand it really easily. It's one of the most easiest method guys to be clear. It works as if like a normal division, but it is a binary division to be clear. Okay, yes. So as we are going through the example, you will be getting more and more clear idea guys. Okay, so what they will give in the question is uh, they will give uh, the number of uh, bits uh, you need to divide. Okay, so if they give 0, 0, 1, 1 is our dividend. Okay, sorry guys, if I am saying the names wrong, I am really sorry for it. I don't know exactly what is a divisor or what is dividend. Okay, I am a bit confused with them. Okay, so or shall I? Okay, give me a second. I'll be checking them and I'll be confirming. Okay, yes. Okay, so I have just checked it, guys. So this is our dividend, guys. Okay. And the num the thing which will be inside is nothing but our divisor. Okay. So basically, they clearly give that the length of this is a 4 bits and the length of this is a 4 bits and they give the numbers also. Like with what we are going to divide. Okay. So, okay. So the thing concept here is we are going to do the binary division and we will get a result, right? Yes. So that is what we will add with this message. So basically, this is nothing but the message, guys. Okay. So if that is our message. The message of few students will be having a doubt like how many bits does the redundant bit have a simple trick to identify it is so how many are here guys so one two three four right so four so subtract one from this guys so the result is three right yes so that many bits you will have the redundancy bits so first of all we don't know what is that redundancy bit right so for easy understanding we'll be writing three zeros here and it's mandatory mandatory to write guys so remember that okay Yes. So now we will start the binary division. Okay. So one is matching with one. So I'll be doing one here. So I'll be getting a one zero one one. Okay. And remember one more important thing. I am not going to subtract here guys. I will be directly applying XOR. So this topic we have this gate we have already discussed in digital electronics. So if you just want me to recall the truth table of it so that you can just solve at least for now. Zero one one zero will be the truth table guys. Okay. Yes. So one one means zero. Uh, 0 1 means 1 0 0 means 0 so this part will match so it will be cancelled out so this 0 will be brought down right yes continuing so if I want to get to 0 I need to multiply it with 0 so 0 sir 0 0 0 0 so it will be the same right so 0 0 1 0 so this part is done right yes so make sure that you are striking it off properly guys because at some moments of time it will raise confusion so 1 I need to multiply into 1 so to get that first cancellation so these two guys will cancel so this is 1 1 0 Okay, so at the end I will bring this 0 down, right? Yes. So for the last time I will multiply with 0. So this 0 will cancel and at the end I will end up with a 1 1 0. So this is the redundancy bit which I should send. So basically in my message pass, I will be passing a 1 triple 0, sorry 1 double 0 1 and 1 1 0. So this is the exact total code data, sorry code word which I will be sending. Got it? Yes. So this is the message which I will be sending to my sender. Okay. So this is what received by the receiver. So assume that the message has been received properly. Okay. So assume that the receiver has received 1 0 0 1 1 1 0. So this thing which we are dividing. So basically this value will be with both the sender and receiver guys. Remember that. Okay. Yes. So let us write it down. So now you will again start the division. So the receiver will again start the division guys. Okay. So it is a 1 sir, 1 0 1 1. These guys will cancel. It is a 0 1 0 1 Okay, so it is again 0 sir. Okay, so 1 0 1 and again this one will come down. So again it is 1 sir. 1 0 1 1. Yeah, wow, it has exactly matched up. So again that 0 will also come down. So basically everything is 0. Means once you reached everything is 0, indirectly you received the message correctly guys. So this is the concept of cyclic redundancy check. So this is an easy method, right? So it's really interesting also. Because as you solve the problems, you will be getting more and more interest and more and more practice with respect to this decimal division you will understand right yes so now let us go through the theoretical part okay yes so cyclic code are special linear block codes with one extra property in a cyclic code if a code word is cyclic shifted rotated the result will be the another code word okay so please avoid this guys so for now so let us understand the concept okay yes so we already understood right so we'll be having the fixed data and you will be having your message and initially you will be having your redundancy bit as fixed data minus one how many bits are there? 4. So in, among 4, remove 1. So the result as 3. So 3 zeros you will add. And you will solve. And at the end you will get a 3 digit number. And this digit you will replace here. Right. So this will be your total code word. Right. Yes. 
so that is k plus reminder right yes so you will send this to the receiver and once the receiver receives it he will be checking it so how he will check he will again divide with it he will be getting zero if he got zero as the answer means indirectly the sent the center data has been successfully received if he gets anything other than zero there is some error in the message please resend the message that's it got it yes okay so now most students got the idea right so how exactly we are solving these questions okay so in examination will he give the numbers directly guys the question the answer is a no what the examiner wants to do is he wants to confuse us by giving the same question in polynomial form okay so instead of giving the value directly he will give in polynomial form guys so that is nothing what he will give in this way x sorry x cube plus 1 okay so once you see it you should understand so basically if the first value is x cube so what will be the next value it will be with respect to x square after that it will be x power 1 it will be x power 0 right so he he, he told x x cube is there so indirectly here it is there x square is not there x power 1 is not there and 1 is also there so this is our binary number similarly for this x cube is there x square is not there, x is there, 1 is there. So, this is the binary representation. Got it? Yes. So, in this way, we can convert it into binary and solve it directly or you can directly solve it with respect to this kind of uh, polynomial expressions also, right? I think everyone knows how to divide polynomials, right? Yes. Okay. So, if you are having any doubt, if you want, I can even explain that also, guys. Because that method is also easy. But mostly in examination, I will be converting them into binary and only I will solve, guys. Okay. Because in polynomial, some questions might just mess with your brain because they are going to add more and more and more terms and it will confuse you more. Okay. Yes. So, let us take a small example so that we can understand. Okay. Yes. So, here in question and one more important thing that you should remember with respect to polynomial is there is a small twist here. So, let us understand it. Okay. So, here what did they give, guys? So, this is the message they give. So, x cube plus 1 is the message which they want to say. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, first of all, you will be writing this here, right? x cube plus x plus 1. So, this is indirectly 1, 0, 1, 1, right? So, this is how many bits, guys? 4 bits. So, what will be our redundant data? So, it is 3 bits. So, what is a 3 bits here? It is nothing but x cube, right? So, with this, you will multiply this value, guys. Always remember that. If you forget that step, you are screwed with the question. It's 100% clear. I will be forgetting that step. That's the reason why I don't follow this polynomial method, guys. I am clear with it, okay? Yes. So, you will multiply this x square here. So, what will be the result? It will be x power 6 plus, plus x cube, right? Yes. So, let us start the division. Okay. So, how you will divide here is, so as if we do in our normal division, guys. So, here we want to get x power 6. So, what I should multiply to this x cube to get this. So, I can multiply x square, x cube to it, right? So, x cube 3, 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Yes, yes. So, it becomes x power 6 plus x power 4 plus x cube. Nice. I will be subtracting. I will be removing these two guys. And I will be, uh, I'll be writing the result. So, these two guys will also cancel. So, I will end up with x power 4. So, if I want x power 4, I can just add x here. Okay. So, it becomes x power 4 plus x square plus x. So, these two guys will cancel and I will end up with x square plus x. So, this is the value which I got. Right. Yes. So, this value I will add here. So, basically what I will send in the internet, I will send x power 6 plus x cube plus x square plus x. So, this is what I will send and again on the receiver side, the same reverse process will occur. There you will get 0 guys. So, if you will be like, please prove it. Right. Yes. Okay. So, let us prove it. x cube plus x plus 1. x power 6 plus x cube plus x square plus x. So, firstly, it will become x cube. That is a nothing but x power 6 plus x power 4. I think it's 4, right? Yes. And then x cube. So, this x cube, this x cube cancel. This x power 6 plus cancel. It will be end up with x power 4 plus x square plus x. Okay, then I will add x here. So, it becomes x power 4 plus x square plus x. So, at the end we got 0. So, hence the message has been received successfully. So, if there is any bit change here, the whole answer will change. And we will be getting something else here rather than 0, right? Yes. So, now you got an idea, right? So, how to work with this polynomials also? Yes. So, in examination, it's your wish, guys. So, which you are comfortable with. Like, it might be polynomial, it might be the binary. And please read the question carefully, guys. Because instead of this, you wrote x square. So, the whole question will go. Even you waste, you spend your 2 minutes or 3 minutes on this question, you solve it 100% correctly. But as you enter the question wrongly, you will end up with wrong answer, guys. So, that is the reason why whenever you are writing any kind of numerical value or numerical question, always concentrate on the values. If there are having units, please make sure to cross the cross check the units at twice or thrice guys to be clear right yes so now you got an idea right so how exactly we will work with the crc okay so now we are done with the concept of error control also guys so we discussed various methods okay, right yes okay yes so firstly we discussed the humming concept the humming code then the parity check then we discussed the 
checksum then we discussed the crc right yes so there are total five methods we have discussed so now i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture let us go through the next thing which is taken care by our data link layer that is the concept of a framing okay so that is what we'll be discussing in the next lecture okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture and discuss about the concept of frame framing thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you